Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Honkai Star Wheel. Did you know Lafu Wardens is about to commit? Well, guess so I from the walls, but those who wise are not surely interested in following the materials in traditions. Today, we're doing the trailer players continue wins. Before we get to that, we got some new characters to try out. Another child that had no shoes? You just spot a butterfly. I mean firefly. Damn, she, how is she carrying this heavy ass weapon that looks like Blaze's weapon? She looks like Blaze's nephew from what people were saying from the hellstyle from hers. Press E and swing at the cock. Hey yo, why is it so up close? Oh damn, what the fuck was that? Swing. Now the adult. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's what it did. Okay, I get it. Yes, you. Oh, she does that too. Okay. E ability. Oh, her stance. Like, oh, swing with no shoes on. Hi. Oh, oh, what? Oh, oh, she just yeeted it. Ah, best of all, why, Ashley? It's been so long. Not gonna lie. Uh, please check it promptly. Hmm. What's that, pom pom? Uh, just got a message from the Xian Show La Fu. Looks like it'll conflict with our original schedule. It's been a while, my friends on the Astral Express. How's your trailblazing expedition going? Soon, the Xian Zhou Law Fu will be holding the Luminary War Dance. Those who have aided the Law Fu in overcoming the crisis are cherished allies of the Xian Zhou. Thus, on behalf of the Seat of Divine Foresight, I'm extending an invitation to attend the ceremony. Your presence would be greatly appreciated. All right. Well, things are getting lively. We've barely recovered from the family's Charmony Festival, and we're already being invited to another special event. Hmm. Uh, trailblazing is all about having fun. Yeah? Why not think about it this way? Our trailblazing expeditions are turning into blast expeditions, where we eat, drink, and play wherever we go. Blast? Expedition? Yeah. Wherever we go, we eat, play, and have a blast! So, we should leave March behind to take care of the Express? What? Uh, hey! No! That's not what I meant! No, I don't think so. Fun. I just hope there won't be any surprise party crashers, like Friday or Saturday. The Sienjo Lawfu has recently overcome a crisis. By holding the war dance, they're demonstrating to everyone that they've returned to a state of peace and safety. But that's what everyone said before we went to Penacony. You'll be totally safe under the family's protection. They said we're totally, you don't... I want to say totally. No need to worry. The war dance is not like the Charmony Festival with all its hidden secrets. It's just a festival to honor the Rainbow Arbiter and the Cloud Knights, who fought against the Abominations of Abundance and protected the Xianzhou ships. Aside from Star Skiff performances, it's mostly martial contests. Nothing too different from the Taikian Roboball contest we've seen before. What do you think, Himiko? Since we've accepted Miss Black Swan's proposal, we should probably head to Amphorius for refueling. Hmm, there's certainly no rush. This trailblazing expedition is quite unique. And the Express needs to be fully stocked and prepared before moving on to the next stop. With Madame Herta's help, I was planning to deliver some Leviathan fossils from Kalinga Abyss to Ron May, member 81 of the Genius Society. It could earn us some favors before we set off. However, it may take a few weeks. Ah, so that means we're not going to the Lafu. Being an adult means maintaining relationships. Whether we like it or not, March. Since we've been invited, it's only right for the Astral Express to attend the ceremony. So, here's the plan. Pom Pom will take everyone to the Sienjo La Fu. Mr. Yang and I will meet up with Ron Mei and fulfill our promise. Meanwhile, you, March, and Don Hung will represent the Express and attend the war dance. What do you nice. two think? Hmm. Oh, it sounds great. Let's split into groups. Good idea. 
I don't hear any objections. Now that everyone's on board with the plan, it's time to warp to the Xianzhou La Fu. Mods, you better sit your ass down. Discuss travel plans with other members of the Express. Ooh. So I could just go talk to my fellow people. Say with Dayhan. Hey, boy. Himeko really knows how to convince people. <laughs> Between Leviathan fossils and the war dance, the latter definitely sounds more fun. Uh, by the way, Don Hung, this time you'll be taking a stroll with us on the Lafu, right? <laughs> and just let you two wander around aimlessly on the Lofu by yourselves? <laughs> I don't think so. Said it too much. Plus, Mr. Yang is right. The Ambrosial Arbor crisis just ended. And both the long life and short life species are still feeling uneasy. And that's why Jing Yuan wants to organize the war dance. To show that the Xianzhou Lo Fu is stable and safe. And uh, since he has extended an invitation, it's only right that I visit my old friend. Hmm, which is the general, right? And we'll heal. Coming back to this place brings back so many memories. You know? Mm -hmm. So here's the need for all of you, a poem by my seventh. Uh, hey, I'm not actually gonna recite a poem. I was just thinking about all the twists and turns we went through when we first arrived on the Sienjo. This time we're not being forced or enticed or chasing after wanted criminals. And we didn't have to sneak in through the cargo dock. This trip has been incredibly smooth. Quite unusual, I must say. Hmm. Uh, we're so easily pleased. I actually feel sorry for us. Such is the fate of us nameless, I suppose. Uh, yes. Now, we are back here. <laughs> Catalyst, I saw the sky for the commission knows that the spirit has dark on the sea show. I got in the love already. Hmm. G uh, just got the sky with Haven. Yep, fresh out the boat. We're now at sky with Haven. Hey, the general sent me the walk to you all the sky of heaven. See you in a bit. Yeah, little boy, we're going in. Is the Starskip Haven always this crowded? Oh, there are so many people here. I can barely hear anything. And his wallet is being healed. Yin Ching said General Jing Yuan sent him to welcome us, but where is he? Where will Let's he? wait for him in front of the loom. It's the most prominent landmark on the dock. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna stay as well for this for a while. This is people. I could wait there once, but no. Let's just focus on the story, Chris. Hey, you guys, hold on a moment. Uh, yes. Did they just call us? Uh, look at their outfits. They're from Pentaconi, right? What are they doing here? Are you familiar with the Sienjo Lafu? <laughs> we know a little bit about it. What do you need? We are from Pentaconi. Maybe you've heard of it. We've well, been there. We came to this ship to gather interesting materials for making dream bubbles. Oh, we just left there. Oh, talk about coincidence. That's great. Do you know any must-see attractions on the Lofu? Hmm. Uh, you come to the right people. Exactly. We're Sienjo experts. No, we're not. Uh, most of the tourists around at the moment are here to attend the war dance. And that's why we're here, too. Yeah, we know about that ceremony. But isn't the fighting ring still closed? I've heard the ring was actually converted from a huge decommissioned Lafu fighter jet. Hmm. Uh, so it's even larger than a regular sky skiff? No doubt about it. It's a massive fighter jet. It's got to be larger than a civilian star skiff. But for now, all we can do is wait until the war dance starts in a few weeks before we can board it. We've still got work to do, so we can't just sit around waiting for it to start. That's why we're asking you about some must-see attractions. We're looking for unique experiences that you won't find on Pentaconi. Our clients love these kinds of dream bubbles the most. Uh, you're the expert here. <laughs> Give them some suggestions. Me? Uh... Why was he climb? That's, that's goofy. Um... Why not visit... Fistral Garden? Supernatural stuff with those mischievous heliobi floating around. It's pretty fascinating. Supernatural? I don't really like scary things, but our clients will love it. Ooh, it does sound interesting. Let's go check out Fix Troll Garden. <gasps> Maybe we'll bump into each other there. Uh, look, Yan Ching's here. 
Wow, really? Let's go catch up with him. It's like, hey guys! Little boy, we have come. Oh, he's staying right there. Look at these there people. You are. Everyone, this way. Coming! Make way to Wobbin! The very. Shut up! No, wait, uh, I'm trying to speak anyways. All oh, hello to Wobbin, the very sassy girl that people love, Zed Fox. Oh, hello, little boy. What are you? I mean, hey, hi. Everyone. It's been a while. Hey. Well, it doesn't feel like it's been that long since we last saw you. But, Yen Ching, are you. Why does he, he pull this look at Bosch like that? See, I saw that. What's up, Miss March? Hey, kids grow up really fast. A uh, Yenching, are you a little bit taller than before? <sighs> We've only been away for a few months. Uh, Kashli <laughs> pinch. What? I want to see it actually. <laughs> Did I? Huh? Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Pinching. Hey, hey, why are you blushing like that, boy? Hey. <laughs> Sorry, but after our previous adventures. I've become suspicious of whoever greets us first. What? What? I just speak at that as pinch your cheek for no reason. Uh, do you have to be suspicious around me too? I don't know, little one. You know, the last time we came to the Sienjo, the first person who greeted us was... Mm, yes. I get it. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's why you pinch your cheeks. Seriously? I've never seen the Lafu so lively before. I was a bit worried that holding the war dance right after the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis might be too soon. But seeing the bustling Starskiff Haven, I understand why General Jing Yuan chose this timing. Yep. There's people from other delves and travelers like you three who have come from afar. With the war dance coming up, there's a huge number of visitors pouring into the Starskiff Haven. The Cloud Knights are working hard to keep the security tight. The General said this ceremony would help the Sienjo Lafu recover from the crisis. It's a way to showcase our martial spirit, reassure people, boost morale, and attract visitors from other planets to promote trade and peace. By the way, the Sienjo Alliance places great importance on this ceremony too. The Sienjo ships, the Zhu Ming and the Yao Qing, have both sent messengers to offer their blessings. Hmm. Um... The Sienjo Yao Qing? Yeah. The Sienjo Yao Qing is a major force in hunting down abominations and is always engaged in conflicts across the cosmos. Although it's a member of the Sienjo Alliance, I don't know much about it. But Madame Yu Kung from the Skyfaring Commission mentioned that the Yao Qing always sends back reports of great victories, which is quite impressive. I heard General Fei Xiao of the Yao Qing is a young and dauntless lady. Hmm. <sighs> My peers say that she's like a goddess of war, capable of crushing dozens of abominations with a single punch. Huh. I wonder if it's true. <laughs> if only I could witness her prowess with my own eyes. By the way, Yenqing, where are we headed next? Uh, I'm sorry for talking your ear off. The general wants to catch up with you at the Palace of Astrum. He's been eager to hear about how the Express has been doing. <laughs> it's funny how he tries to act all mature. But whenever it comes to something he's interested in, you can really see his childish side. Can you him? Well, you're pretty much the same in that regard. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, let's go. Oh. All units, assemble quickly! Get ready to protect the crowd! Huh. I just mentioned security, and now all of a sudden something's gone wrong. Excuse me, I need to go check out the situation. Uh, uh, you just as jinx as March. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? It means you're teased. Um, we'll go with you. Good idea. But what the fuck is going <gasps> on? Watch out for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, really? Protect the civilians. I'll do this first. Went through hell and pinnacle, and now this shit is happening? That stands, by the way. Damn, boy. What is happening? 
Enemies within the mall can enter the moon wage state. After enemies are attacked, apply one stack of boss stuff. Bloodlust to enemies that took the trigger moon wage. When blood reaches a certain number of stacks, the unit enters the moon wage state. At the same time, the moon wage counter appears on the action order. When the countdown turn begins, the moon wage spread across all enemy units. Interesting, interesting. Why are there boars? I've never seen these enemies! How's that tickles Robin? <laughs> <laughs> it's like my claws are whip! Ah! Yeah, my nipples are poking! Don't you look at it! Bitch! Stand now attack. Still. You have the worst luck right oh wait, I'm gonna switch my teams. There we go, that's my actual team. Okay, I'm gonna do... Uh, Robin, you go... Yes, the everyone. The will soon play in unison. Listen everyone, we go to Robin. My fireflies to a flame. Let's go, Robin! I mean, Firefly. Who's burning the ashes? <gasps> Fuck you guys! Nice! That's pretty quick. This won't take long. No, it won't. Uh, pop this one. And then we're gonna go. Uh, Kafka. Now go boom. Time to say bye. Now boom. Ooh, shock them. Huh? <laughs> Look how she says that. This Firefly Type Four in position. Hey, I never. I don't. I don't have a cost seeing that actually, unless I don't notice. I'll attack this one. Like, fuck that one. Oh no, not the child. Uh oh. Listen to the final song of life. You die. Quiet down. Must like healing. Oh, pretty soon. Very soon. Just waiting. Oh yeah, burst are healing. I'm just waiting for the time to get started. Oh my god. May as well kill them all. You get shocked. This is more than a battle. No. -uh. I shall set the sea Hey, one down. Two to go. One down. Oh, ended. Perfect. Shit, my boy! Come on, madam! Heal yourself you and heal everyone. <laughs> well, like fire fire's fine. He's like, wait a minute, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Linus, I'm fine. <laughs> just eat the damn team. My throat is feeling much better. No, okay, fine. I guess I'll just do that instead. Okay. Stand still. This is so messed up. We we just came back here and look what we're dealing with now. Oh. What are we dealing with? Yeah, back to seeing. Tonight, the stars echo because of me. Joining the battle. Gonna fist squeeze my legs. Ah ha ha! Why in the head? How's it gonna step on by Firefly? Hey, double up. Nice, everyone. Thanks for seeing Robin for the distraction. Good. Just punched him. <laughs> oh, it's the new counter. <laughs> Damn. <gasps> Damn, those grippers. We got another child with shoes on. I'm mean, with no shoes. Uh, thanks for the help. Uh, uh, sorry, no time to chat. Uh, could you give me back my? That's just... Oh my god, they took the sword! <laughs> What's next? She's gonna look like, oh, this is mine! <laughs> Everyone's hurt, damn, they all good? My goodness. Wait, my sword! Oh uh, no. Let's just get down to business first. So, dad, my sword got taken! <gasps> By who? A child? Oh, I sent it, like, what?! I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we'll have to put our plans on hold for now. I need to find out what's going on. Like, seriously? Why? The what the fuck? While we appreciate your rescue, my Sienjo friends, don't you think it's a bit too much to detain us and our cargo? Sorry. 
but we've been ordered to detain you and your cargo for inspection until we figure out the source of the attack. Once we're done with the formalities, we'll let you and your cargo go. <laughs> but this shipment isn't even meant for the Lafu. And it's IPC's patented technology. Who do you think you are to conduct an inspection? According to the protocol, all cargo arriving on the Lawfu must go through inspection. Oh, but we didn't officially enter your dock at all. We just sought refuge in your dock because we were attacked by the Borisans. <sighs> Looks like this argument could go on forever. Let's not get involved in a heated dispute that won't lead to a resolution. Nah, good idea, buddy. La hey, you two fucking idiots, stop arguing! Okay. Oh, damn, look at all the blood. That's about here. Damn. No, I'll talk to you. Who's in charge here? I need some answers. It's my fault. We let our guard down for a moment. I take full responsibility. Is he talking or this one talking? With the war dance approaching, safety should be a top priority. Now, tell me, how did Boris and prisoners end up in Starskiff Haven? According to the protocol, Boris and prisoners should be held on a star skiff and taken directly to the Shackling prison under strict supervision without ever touching the ground. Who allowed a prisoner transport ship to dock at the passenger terminal? Please don't blame this, Captain. This incident involves the Chu Ming's diplomatic vessel. Okay, I'll see him talking. Who are you? So is this one. I'm Lu Ju, an officer of the patrol defense squad. Thank you for your help, Lieutenant Yen Ching. The situation unfolded rapidly, and it shouldn't be held against the captain. Here's what happened. An IPC transport ship was attacked by the Borison just before arriving, and the Ju Ming's diplomatic vessel came to the rescue. They fought off the Borison pirates and imprisoned them on their ship. So, an IPC ship was attacked by the Borison near the Lafu, and the Ju Ming envoys saved them? Uh... Sounds complicated. Honestly, it gives me a headache too. The Ju Ming diplomatic ship, adhering to standard procedure, docked at the passenger terminal to hand these criminals over to the La Fu. You know, with all the outsiders flooding onto the La Fu, the star skiff lanes are under immense pressure. The Boris and Desperados decided to put up a fight before the prisoner transport star skiff could get there. And that's what you just witnessed. We'll make sure these prisoners are sent to the Shackling prison as soon as possible. I see. It's an unusual situation indeed. I'll report it to the security department of the Realm Keeping Commission and ask for their cooperation in handling the aftermath. <sighs> Maybe I should gather more details from others so that the Seed of Divine Foresight can have a better understanding of the situation. Yeah, most likely, dude. The Cloud Knights claim to calm the crowd, then despise, and the street was. Oh, you look much mature now, Yanqing. I wasn't a pussy back then! Please don't tease me, Miss March. The situation on the Sienjo before the war dance is like a calm lake that can be disturbed by even the smallest pebble, capable of generating far reaching ripples with even the slightest disturbance. What are those people? I mean, those monsters we just dealt with? <laughs> I know, they're clubs, right? Those werewolf monsters are known as Borison. They are abominations of abundance, and we've been fighting them for a very long time. The Borison have been a powerful force for a long time, plundering and enslaving many worlds. The threat they pose is just as terrible as the Swarm Disaster, and the Alliance even had a fierce war with them three decades ago. Their presence has faded over the years, but who would have thought? According to that officer, they attacked an IPC ship near the Senjo Lofu. Such a brazen attack seems quite unusual to me. Yeah, that's what I find strange too. It seems like the IPC and the Borison have some serious grudges. Well, enough with the chit chat. The general wants me to take you to the Palace of Astrum. I'd love to chit chat a little longer, but there are some things that can't be left unchecked. Is it a serious matter? Maybe you'll need our help in hunting down the Borison? Thank you, but it's no big deal. By the way, that young lady who just appeared, she took my sword. I'm thinking of filing a lost property report at the Realm Keeping Commission to see if I can get it back. <laughs> I doubt she did it on purpose. Hmm. So, when the Cloud Eyes get in trouble, they had to call in Mercy Service too? 
Shouldn't we take a look? All right. Let's not keep the general waiting. Don't worry. There aren't many people out there with that kind of talent. It shouldn't be too hard to find her. Hmm. No, not really. Wow, the set are like NPCs. There sure are a lot of troublemakers around. Who are you talking about? Do you know something? Huh, what's the big deal, dude? It's been a long journey, Elder Wyatt. Thank you for your presence. <laughs> Don't mention it. Thank you for taking the time to welcome me. Jail! Hey, dude, it's been a while. Who is that next to you? General, I brought our guests from the express. Wait, hold up. Didn't I saw uh, her? Oh, I'm sorry for my bad timing. I didn't know you were meeting a guest, General. Don't worry. You're just in time. <laughs> It's been a while, my friends from the Astral Express. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh did you miss us? Sure. How couldn't I have? It's not often we find such moments to reunite and enjoy one another's presence. My. Uh, since when did he and General Ching Yuan become such good buddies, Don Hung? They seem to be having a great time. <sighs> a lot must have happened without our knowledge. At least I hope that's the case. Allow me to introduce <gasps> I knew it. Top left, top left. General Wyan. Why is she? He is what is going on? She is here too. Zienjo Zhuming, known as the Flaming Heart. <laughs> no need to be so formal. I'm just a tourist here. No different from other tourists who've come to attend the ceremony. Elder Huayen is not only one of the Arbiter Generals, but also the Furnace Master of the Artisanship Commission. Besides his martial skills, he excels in forging various weapons. Such talents are unique, even among the Arbiter Generals. Be it Arbiter General or Furnace Master, these are merely titles given to me long ago. I've retired several times already, but with the current change in circumstances, the Marshal has called me back to duty, and I had no choice but to answer the call. Well, in the end, I'm to blame. Living such a long life naturally brings its share of disapproval. It's, it's an, an honor, honor to, to meet, meet you, you, General Huayan. Hey. It's my honor to meet you, General Huayan. Glad to meet you, General. Um, what's your name again? No need to be all formal. Today I'm just a guest on the lawful, same as all of you. So these three are the ones you mentioned, Jing Yuin, the heroes who helped you with the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis. It's like, oh shit, he's here, got one. Indeed, there's Don Hung, March seventh, and him. Without their help. I'm afraid the Law Fu might not have easily overcome this crisis. So, the Inviberter Lune's reincarnation has returned to the Law Fu and will attend the war dance. I'd love to have a drink with you, should the chance present itself. You're more than welcome, General Huayan. And this young friend is? Like, oh, this is my son. Yan Ching, my apprentice. He remains by my side as my retainer due to his youth, which I hope will season him with experience. He will stand for the Law Fu's Cloud Knights in the upcoming war dance, ready to take on all kinds of challenges. Say, so, ooh, la la, I'm gonna marry this guy one great, day. Great! It's a real treat to see so many talented young people around here today. Uh huh. Oh, I almost forgot. This is my apprentice, you leave. Like, it's like, oh, it's like, that's the bitch that took my sword! Like, hey! Uh, it's you! You took my sword! Oh, it's you. Hello. Oh, you two already know each other? No! Guess we don't need any introductions then. She just happens to bump to us. What a coincidence! I was afraid I'd have trouble finding this girl. Oh? Now you've piqued my curiosity. Tell me, how did you two become acquainted? 
She helped me capture the escaped Borison prisoners at the Starskip Haven. Allow me to express my gratitude for you. But when you left, you took my flying sword with you. Your flying sword? <laughs> oh, so that's why I found the dagger in my bag. Turns out it's yours. What? Yes, it is. Now that we've met again, I hope... <laughs> nope, that won't do. Why? Won't do? <sighs> you want your sword back, right? Well, you can't just take it back. On the Juming, when you lose your sword on the battlefield, you have to reclaim it on the battlefield. <laughs> As for this little sword, it was supposed to strike that escaped Borison prisoner. But unfortunately, its owner's agitated state caused it to fly off like a kite with a broken string. And it missed its target. By the way, if I hadn't caught it and helped it hit its mark, that Borison prisoner would have gotten away. Hold on a second, Lee. You took my sword without even asking, and now you're refusing to give it back? <laughs> so much for Lafu Swordmasters. This sounds like a couple way, not gonna lie now. What did you just say? If mm -hmm. you just stepped up and took your sword back from me fair and square, <laughs> I would have totally respected you. But nope, you tried to play it down, expecting me to just hand it back to you like it's nothing. In front of everyone! With all due respect, you don't honor your sword, so you don't deserve it. Hasn't anyone told you that taking without asking is stealing? If you want to settle this with swords, fine. Let's have a one-on-one -on -one duel right now. Not in the building. Shang Sex by son? No, not in the building. Go outside and do it. <laughs> well, that's more like it. Just be careful. Because I'm not as easy to handle as the Borison. <sighs> You two, be quiet and apologize to Yen Ching. <laughs> hey, whose side are you on, Grandpa? No one, you're just being a pussy. I, um, I don't take sides. Oh, oh, oh you're sure? That's all you did. It's a small misunderstanding, and an apology would be too much. I've heard about the Zhu Ming's incredible swordplay and craftsmanship. Most notably, the legendary flame wheel octet. Seeing Miss Yun Li, who is among those ranks today, well, I must say she definitely has that fiery edge. <laughs> Such grandiose names. Some folks love to spin these fancy titles, trying to set the cloud nights apart. Yun Li is still just a young girl, a bit awkward and hot tempered. So please forgive her. She's being rude. Well, everyone, Elder Hua Yen and I have some business to discuss. For now, Yang Ching, why don't you entertain our guests and take Miss Yun Li to the inn? I'll find another chance to talk with you all. I'd like to express my gratitude to the Astral Express for helping the law food during the crisis. That's so kind of you. I mean, you've already thanked us so many times. Please forgive me for coming at an inconvenient time. You needn't apologize, General Huayan. All right, Yun Li. Take this opportunity to clear things up with Yen Ching. Yeah, yeah. It's better to make friends than enemies. But I won't be heading to the inn just yet. I want to visit Lingsha. She just arrived in the Lafu and could use some help settling in. Yen Ching. Once you've helped our guests get settled, go to the Artisanship Commission for me. I've heard about the attack and the detainment of the IPC ship. Chingzu sent word that the IPC members are protesting and wish to have their cargo back. See if you can calm them down. Don't get aggressive. Just make it clear that the Cienjo Law Fu has no intention of violating their rights. I'm on it. Oh, yes, Dad. Got it. Lady, please. I want to hear what she has to say. <gasps> Wait, I just was who I have actually. <laughs> Look who I have though. <laughs> who I got for? Who I got by accident? Give me back my sword! No, please, just give it back. Bitch, I said no. Oh, look at those two being friends. Yeah, my son is good at making friends. If I cut right now, I will beat the fuck out of you. If I cut, but joy, I killed the Kai girl, and I'm going to marry you. Uh, what? I don't want to hear what she says if I talk to her. Oh, this trip is totally worth it. 
Compared to the Juming, the Lafu is so much livelier. But it's a shame the Lafu swordmasters don't seem that great. Uh, glad to meet you, Miss Yulin. Glad to meet you too. Are you here to participate in the war dance? Uh, I'm just a toys attending the ceremony. Hmm. So you're not a participant? You look like you know your way around the fight. Well, you can still sign up. The Cloud Knight's ring is always open to outsiders. What's the flame? What flame wheel? Okla, the general spoke of. Ah, that's how outsiders refer to my peers in the Juming Cloud Knights and the Artisanship Commission. We all train under Grandpa's guidance, learning the art of craftsmanship and swordplay. That's how we got that title, I guess. Just don't mention it in front of Grandpa. He always says that empty titles bring pointless challenges and conflicts. We Juming Swordmasters pride ourselves on the success of the group over the individual. Aren't you coming with us? <sighs> I have some things to do. Besides, little Yen Ching doesn't seem too happy about me tagging along. Hmm. Uh, he shouldn't have said you stole his sword. I guess. You're right. I took it with my skills. So I guess you can say I'm a robber or something. How dare he imply I'm a thief? Totally different. Besides, the sword seems scared of its own master. I'd like to ask him. You claim to cherish your sword as your life. Yet you don't even recognize the state it's in right now? I didn't intend to keep his sword. I was planning to take this chance to return it to him. But now, I've changed my mind. I'll give that poor flying sword some proper maintenance. I won't consider returning the sword unless he learns how to say please, hello, thank you, and sorry. So he can forget about it for now. Damn. This guy had feeling a tingle of his scalp though and plowed troubles for yaching her face. Why distracted? The young girl has already won the officer on her own. Her whereabouts unknown. Hmm. Alright. Alright, we're gonna let's talk to you. We're looking at follow that saying, wait a bit, I thought you were not here with us. Yeah, I'm totally here with the Kafka over here. What up, bitches? Hey, Don Hung. I thought all the Sienjo generals were like Jing Yuan, but that General Huayan, he looks so thin and scraggy, as if even a light breeze would knock him over. Is that old man really an Arbiter General? Well, each Xianzhou ship has its own division and specialty within the Alliance. Not all of the Arbiter Generals are good at leading the charge. You heard what Jing Yuan said, right? Mm-hmm. General Huayan was once the head of all the skilled craftsmen on the Zhu Ming. Hmm. There appears to be more than meets the eye, I'll say. Uh, don't you find it strange? Uh, do Sienjo people age? Yeah. I rarely see any old people on the Sienjo ship. And when I do, they're usually travelers. But General Huayan looks like an ordinary old grandpa. Oh, I can't. Is he really a Sienjo general? This is I can heal you, old bitch! Hmm. Good question. He's right there. So why don't you ask him yourself? Oh, yeah. yeah I'd like to live a little longer. <laughs> like, big, hot should... and sexy. General Jing Yuan asked Yan Qing to entertain us. So obviously, he has important matters to discuss. Let's not waste any time here. Mm -mm. Actually, before we go, let's talk with the general before we leave. <gasps> hey, general, do you mind if I speak to you for a second? I'm sorry. Yang Ching's rudeness. Not at all. Taunted by Yun Li like that, even a training dummy would be angry. You've taught your apprentice well. If it were me in my younger days, I'm afraid I'd have drawn my sword and fought. Yan Ching can understand your concerns. On the other hand, Yun Li is still a naive girl who's only interested in swordplay. Honestly, I brought her here to participate in the war dance because I want to broaden her horizons. Huh. That, 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 I'm, I'm going, I'm going. Yeah, I, you heard nothing. I wasn't sucking or anything. Let's go. This is the report Ching Zhu just sent me. Let me take a look. Hmm. Huh. 
Looks like the General has given me a tough challenge. He wants me to try and help put the IPC's mind at ease. Is this some kind of test from the General? Well, it's not exactly a test. As Cloud Knight officers, we not only learn the art of war and martial arts, but also occasionally have to handle diplomatic disputes. It's just, you know, talking things out isn't as straightforward as duking it out with weapons on the battlefield. This is especially true when you're up against the IPC, with their non-stop corporate babble. Uh -huh. <sighs> well, let's not worry about that for now. Shall I take you to the inn? Let's go. I'll talk with everyone. All of watching Yachi and the others leave. It is the law Fu's honor to have you in attendance at the war dance. Uh-huh. Yes. The fact that a simple martial arts ceremony has attracted esteemed generals from the Zhu Ming and the Yao Qing implies intentions beyond mere spectating. Might there be any specific instructions from the marshal? You're overthinking it, Jin Yuan. As I said, I'm here to broaden my granddaughter's horizons. I have no ulterior motives. However, I have no clue what the Yao Qing Arbiter General has in mind. Do you remember when you accepted this position? I told you that an Arbiter General's battlefield goes beyond the physical one. You'll need to lead and manage everything on the Xianzhou. The title of Arbiter General holds a weight far greater than its literal meaning. So many years have passed, and you've done well. However, longevity for the Xianzhou people can be a curse. Living too long means that every mistake you made will lurk in the shadows. And one day, they'll eventually catch up to you. The Marshal knows everything that has happened on the Lawful. As for the Merlin's Claw of the Yao Qing, she has come specifically for you. Oh, come you say? Speaking of which, so she wants to fuck me. Arrived yet? They say the Merlin's claw strikes like lightning. Being late isn't her style. That's not true, General Hua Yan. She's been here a while, but I'm sure you've heard of her unbridled nature. Why does it sound like? <gasps> Oh, it's a new character I seen on um, social media. Was... As soon as she disembarked from the Star Skiff, she mentioned having something to attend to and simply disappeared. Damn. And also, that's Cosmos VA on the left side. I don't know about the right one, but he sounds pretty hard for some girls. You must be the messengers from the Xianzhou Yao Qing, I assume. We are Jiao Cho and Moza, retainers of the Merlin's Claw. It's an honor to meet you in person, Arbiter Generals. Hmm. That's why he does. Oh, <laughs> people are gonna love it. A guest who doesn't come to visit but sends a message instead. Hmm. What does she mean? Tell me, what could be more important to her than coming here? Master heard about a spectacular view in Scale Gorge Waterscape. I believe she went there to enjoy it. She's right there. My God. A spectacular view. Did you hear that, Jing Yuan? This person is being sarcastic. Please do not misunderstand me, General Hua Yan. I was simply stating the truth. Master thought it would be inappropriate to keep you waiting, so she sent us here. Once she's finished with admiring the scenery, she'll personally come and apologize to the both of you. Aw. She walks in. How's she look like, though? I don't know what she looks like, honestly. In the meantime, I'll set the pinnacle players of Astrium. Okay. Drat, I forgot to ask you and Lee to return my sword. Uh, why would I tell him that? And like, what do you mean? I'll go get it back for you. No need to bother. The Ju Ming envoys won't be leaving the Lafu anytime soon. I'll ask for it later when we meet again. Uh, by the way, I don't know if it's just me, but. The general seemed a little reserved. Could it be because of Elder Wyan's visit? Reserved? Really? Uh, maybe I'm just overthinking things. No, you're not. When I entered the palace of Astrum, I realized that the messenger from the Xianzhou Zhu Ming was actually the Arbiter General himself. 
So, the messenger from the Xianzhou Yao Qing must be the Merlin's claw herself, I presume. That's right. <sighs> well, that's what makes this entire thing so unusual. What's so unusual about it? They simply received an invitation from Jing Yuan, just like the crew, right? <sighs> the war dance is just a small festival. And now we have two Arbiter Generals from other Xianzhou ships here. I'm afraid they're here for something more. Huh. Maybe they've come to hold Jingyuan accountable for the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis? Hold him accountable? Uh, come on, didn't the Law Fu fall victim to the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus and the Antimatter Legion? Why would they blame the victim? Don Chu's rebellion and Fentilia's scheming are merely one side of the story to the other Arbiter Generals of the Alliance. Only a single piece of incontrovertible evidence remains, creating an endless source of potential complications. The Ambrosial Arbor. Yes. It's undeniable that the Plague Mark, which was subdued by the Xianzhou Lo Fu, has resurfaced. But was it really a conspiracy instigated by the Antimatter Legion? Or does it indicate a traitorous intent from within the Law Fu, implicating Jing Yuan himself? Once the spark of suspicion is kindled, it proves hard to extinguish. Hmm. Uh. uh we can fast forward Jing Yuan, though. The general must have had that in mind when he invited us to attend the war dance. Ah, uh, what was I thinking? Seriously. Here I was looking forward to a carefree and enjoyable trip. But it seems wherever we go, drama is just around the corner. Aww, like what? I'm so excited. I thought those Arbiter Generals were just here to see the ceremony. By the way, I heard that an alchemist from the Juming diplomatic ship has arrived. And rumors say that she's to be the new Cauldron Master of the Alchemy Commission on the Wafu. Hmm. An alchemist from the Zhu Ming serving as the cauldron master on the Lo Fu? While it's not unheard of, the timing itself... Thanks to your words, Mr. Don Hung. Now I finally see the underlying tensions. The general is under tremendous pressure right now. I was completely oblivious to his troubles. Uh, how naive of me. Uh, come on, don't think like that. Leave the adult matters to the adults. Even if you wanted to do something for the general, it's not like you can do anything. <sighs> uh, did I say something wrong? Again. Um. <sighs> Your will must have conversations. Miss March is right. I don't have the skills to share the general's burdens at the moment. Still, I'll do my best to follow his instructions. Let's go. Once I've taken you to your accommodations. I need to go to the Artisanship Commission to handle the IPC's protest. Uh, he looks like he has a lot on his mind. We can't just let him go alone. Uh, why don't we accompany you to the Artisanship Commission? Uh, this is too much trouble. While I appreciate your kindness, dealing with the IPC's workers could be tricky. I'm afraid this will cause trouble for the Express. Oh no, Topaz! Okay, you come in. Uh, no worries! We're pretty experienced in dealing with the IPC. Exactly. You've heard of the Ten Stone Hearts? We've dealt with quite a few of them, right? Uh. Uh. Um. You all will mess of conversations. Yeah, exactly. Uh, are you being sarcastic? Well, since you're willing to help, I won't decline your kindness. Let's head to the Artisanship Commission and meet them. Yeah, let's go to... What the hell are they? All over there. Yeah, let's go. Can I really reason with you, Sienjo people? Oh my god. I think I get it now. In your words, this is called looting a burning house, right? But I am trying to reason with you here. Okay. Uh, what is going on here? Ugh, that toxic voice sounds familiar. Haven't I heard it before in Arum Alley? They call it toxic. Oh god, this game King Gen Z is what the fuck. You know what? This is. I mean, he's always been for a while. With the Skyfaring Commission, I can handle your unreasonable ways, but straight up snatching IPC cargo isn't that going a bit too far? Just as I've said it many times already. Once we've inspected the cargo and completed the security check, you can be on your way. 
Is there something wrong with your ears, or is it just your brain? I'm hearing you loud and clear. I'm thinking clear. And my answer is crystal clear. Not a chance. Oh, I remember him from the first event they had in Lafu, where he bucked like a dog. I didn't show in the I didn't do a game unfortunately because I didn't know he had a voice line. Keep detaining my cargo and I'll file a complaint directly with your general. S did I hear a dog barking? You jerk! Who are you calling a dog? Why are you here? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Staying on the Sienjo, are you? What terrible luck. Wherever you go, disasters aren't far behind. Aren't you the guest from the Astral Express? What brings you and Yanqing to the Artisanship Commission? Hmm. I'm here to help Yanqing sort out the trouble caused by IPC. Trouble caused by the IPC? I'd say it's caused by the Skyfaring Commission. Looks like you've met this IPC worker before. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. Yeah, he's a bitch. I was sent here to deal with the IPC protest, Mishikwe. What's going on here? <sighs> As you know, this IPC transport ship was attacked by the Borison and rescued by the Juming's diplomatic ship. Then the Cloud Knights were instructed to bring it back to the dock for repairs and inspection. And this is Mr. Scott, the person in charge of this transport ship. So, you're Scott. I've heard him mention you. Weren't you kicked off the Lafu before? Why did you come back? Like I wanted to come back. I thought I'd just dock at the harbor for repairs and leave this forsaken place for good. Little did I know, as soon as the ship entered the harbor, a bunch of cloud knights showed up and snatched all our cargo from the hold. What do you mean by snatched? I've told you a million times. It's a security check. Then why did you bring the cargo to the Artisanship Commission? You even brought in some shady craftsmen. It's obvious you're trying to steal the IPC's patented technology! Listen here. Firstly, the Skyfaring Commission detected dangerous items that could possibly be weapons in your cargo hold. That's why they called me here, to double check. Secondly, where the heck did you get the idea that I'm a shady craftsman? Even if there are dangerous items, what do they have to do with you? It's not even being shipped to the law, fool. We'll just fix the ship and be on our way. We won't unload our cargo here. But you'll have to stay in the port for several days before your ship is repaired and you can take off again. How can we just leave unchecked items sitting here? I understand. But we don't need to disassemble the cargo if it's just a security check, right? In most cases, we don't. However, our scans discovered that the cargo doesn't only contain machinery, but also some substance that resembles biological tissue. Biological tissue? Does this crate contain living things? I'm afraid we'll need to wait for the Alchemy Commission for further confirmation. In any case, according to our regulations, we need to unseal one of the crates for further examination. But this IPC specialist has been hindering us on the grounds of patent secrecy. The Alliance's regulations on biological products are very strict. Without further inspection, there is no way for the Skyfaring Commission to release the cargo. Oh, really? Fine! If anyone lays a finger on that shipment, they'll have me to deal with. It doesn't matter if it's mechanical or biological. It's none of your business. I'm filing a complaint against the Skyfaring Commission's ridiculous regulations. But I don't think it's, a, it's not bad what they're trying to do. <sighs> this Mr. Scott seems stubborn and difficult to persuade. Honestly... I really don't want to have a vicious confrontation with the IPC. Hmm. Leave it to me. I'm an expert navigator. I heard how you helped Aramali. The IPC representative back then was Mr. Scott, right? Since you've dealt with him before, it looks like I'll have to rely on you again. What are you guys whispering about over there? Just hurry up and give us back our cargo. Who's we'll saying your dick is small? Like, really small. What if it was cack for doing it, though? Listen, boy, I know you stand my tits under glasses. I could see it. How the fuck did you know? Because I could tell you gained a boner and still so small. Okay, let's speak to you. 
Okay, so at the end of the navigation is the middle and higher than the code of the opponents is considered successful navigation, otherwise it's determined by failure. During the navigation process is either party able to drop to zero, the navigation immediately ends. The negative choice will have a different outcome, whether it either increases or decreases your morals. Actually, you make choices, the navigation progress until the number of navigation around drop to zero, at which point the navigation ends. During the turn, you can use navigation strategies to apply for the navigation techniques to help you succeed. Here you can view your opponent information. If you're unsure to choose, click to view. This choosing show style for a sudden callous. As I recall, this guy won't listen to reason and can only be persuaded with intimidation. But he does seem to follow rules to some extent. No, it looks like. Let's use that against him. Dakin Wopa. One class trial. Regulations. We have our own laws and regulations too. According to Article Four of the Cienjo Alliance IPC trade consensus. The Alliance and IPC shall never infringe on each other's intellectual property rights. Oh my god. Um, let's do, let's do, uh, no cooling strategies. Okay, the, let's get the wow. Why do I do that? Emotional damage trigger. Huh? Your logic is too confusing for anyone to follow. Maybe you should learn the art of communication from a monkey before you continue spouting nonsense. <laughs> We just call what the hell? We just call the monkey? What the fuck was that? Ah, oh, oh my god. Okay. Um, let's see. According to the Uncle Four, the Chancellor, and the Saints, I see PC. Never. Um, uh, let's see. Make proposal from the legal perspective. The Alliance can sign a non-disclosure agreement with you. That way, you won't have to worry about any infringements, right? We can sign a mutually acceptable non-disclosure agreement in accordance with the IPC's rules. Well, uh, that makes sense, but how can we trust you to honor the terms? <clears throat> Even if we set aside the secrecy of intellectual property, these prototypes built by the Intelligentsia Guild are incredibly valuable, beyond your wildest imagination. If anything goes wrong, you won't be able to pay for it even with your lives. Uh, uh, violence? Why would I pick violence? Uh, uh, well. What? Okay, let's see us show him where that you will proceed with caution. Don't underestimate Sienjo technology. Even if they need to dismantle your cargo, the Artisanship Commission can easily put it back together. Yeah, go ahead and brag about their skills. After all, you're just a negotiator they hired. But I'm different. No, you're not. I'm an IPC member, and my fleet has accepted this transportation order. Naturally, I need to be responsible for the integrity of every piece of cargo. Besides, Cargo on this transport vessel belongs to the Intelligentsia Guild. If you want to inspect the cargo, shouldn't you at least call in a member of the Intelligentsia Guild to be present? Uh, uh, try to resolve according to the Sienjo regulation. According to the principle of territoriality, since your vessel is stranded on the Sienjo, the Skyfaring Commission has the right to inspect it. Indeed. According See? to Article 27 of the Cienjo Legal Code, this guy. all official and private goods upon entering the port shall be subject to inspection. Failure to submit to such inspection shall be deemed equivalent to the possession of unlawful items and shall be subject to legal ramifications. Huh? My synesthesia beacon must not be working, <laughs> because I have no idea what you just said. Simply put, if you insist on hindering the inspection, We'll have to treat the cargo as unlawful items and confiscate it. Confiscate it? How How can you Sienjo people be so unreasonable? If this were pure point, an incoming cargo posed a safety risk, the IPC would take it in for containment and disposal, correct? Uh, th that's true. But the IPC sometimes makes exceptions. For example, they've always given special terms to Sienjo vessels. We both need to follow the regulations. Because that's how the IPC and the Sienjo operate, right? As an IPC worker, I have to abide by its regulations. If I make an exception and allow you to inspect the cargo, it'll spell disaster for me. Hmm. Uh. Um. The Sienjo people are just following their own rules. Everyone has their own set of rules. Now that you're on their turf, shouldn't you follow their rules too? Yeah, I get it. I know I'm on the Sienjo. 
But if I violate the IPC regulations, I'll be in deep trouble when I get back. This guy's just stupid as fuck. I won! Yeah! <laughs> well, you guys sure know how to argue your case. Fine. I'll allow you to do the security inspection. It's just that uh, I need some time to sort things out. This is a big deal. Let me talk to headquarters first. So, Mr. Scott, are you just stalling for time and planning to leave the CN Joe as soon as your ship is repaired? To avoid the Skyfaring Commission's inspection? Yeah. IPC staff are free to come and go. As long as they don't break any laws. Who's speaking? Yeah, you've got some insight there. Who are you again? Who are you? Oh! Allow me to introduce myself. Huh? I'm Ling Sha, Cauldron Master and Head of the Alchemy Commission on the Law Foo. Oh, I saw her on Instagram too. Damn, she has some... Oh, oh God, the way she looks. Could she be... What? Yeah. She's the new cauldron master assigned here from the Sien Zhou Zhu Ming. So, how can you guys whispering? No, the outfit she looks like, she looks like, um, Ting Yan for some reason. Are you the real one? Nah, I don't know. I received a report from the Artisanship Commission about cargo containing samples of unknown organisms. Oh, so, what? I help from the Alchemy Commission. I had nothing better to do, so I came myself. It's fine, she... Mr. Scott. <laughs> If you really don't want your cargo to be inspected, it doesn't matter. I don't know why she said like that, as if she was gonna come fuck us. It, it doesn't matter? How can you say that? Why are you being so nice all of a sudden? Hmm? Well, since you're not going to check it, I'll take this crate and be on my way. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah, sure. Why should I object? Not only this sample, but all the goods on the transport ship are yours to keep. Like I said, we won't inspect them. Wait a minute! What? <laughs> now, nah, she probably got a reason. Well, that's more like it. If only the young displayed a more reasonable attitude, we could have sidestepped that altercation just now. Our ship will leave in a few days once the engines are repaired. Your ship can leave whenever you want. But I'm afraid I can't say the same for your cargo. Like, According wait a minute. to the import and export regulations signed between the Sienjo and IPC, all biological shipments can only leave the port when they have confirmed to be of no threat. Like or what? when all biological activity expires. Since we can't determine if your shipment is safe for the environment, I guess we'll have to wait for its biological activity to expire. Yeah, so Let me check the previous cases. Yeah. Normally, it'll only take around 47 star calendar years. <laughs> only 47 years? Why so surprised? You're still young and full of energy. I'm pretty sure you'll live a few more decades. Have some confidence in yourself. Ha! Typical of a long life species. Your words are dripping with sarcasm. While you may not care about time, I do. I'll be demanding double compensation from the Skyfaring Commission for every minute wasted. Like, sure sucks, thing, Mr. Yes. Scott. You seem pretty confident that your career and life oh, will last pump? long That's enough to witness this victory unfold. Fuck. <laughs> Step aside, guys. Let them do the inspection. Uh, but, Mr. Scott. Come on, we're already in enough trouble. Just let them do the security inspection. And if needed, I can always grovel before the Intelligentsia Guild later. I'm just using my head for what it's apparently good for, right? <sighs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> okay, well, bah. honestly, at least you're not as annoying as that woman. Huh? Who? Bro, just do the inspection. This lady is really something else. Yeah. Is this the IPC product? Uh, uh listen up. Any damages caused by inspections <sighs> will be filed with the IPC. <gasps> Oh, I just woke up. Turn it off. Turn why would you say just turn off? You can't just Can we use her? I'm actually curious. Oh, the boot not gonna let us play as her. 
Um, uh, okay, when the allies affect the tail grip, attackers can use tail grip because once only once can dispel a tail grip. When tail grip ends, is the castle tail grip is not attacked to dispel a tail grip, then the affected ally will fall into the tail fight state when be unable to perform action. Oh, what? Bloodlust? Oh, how unexpected. Oh, look, two robots. We got two robots fighting. The harmony will soon play in unison. <laughs> Joining the battle. We got dead. Stand still. Oh, this is tough. <laughs> what do you say? Relax. Good times. Never. What was it saying? I don't understand. Time to say bye. I think it's funny. Embo. Oh, so it's taking down. Okay, I understand it. Not the child. Uh oh. This one's gonna be careful, don't we? Like, shut the fuck up. Ooh! Firefly, you better watch your HP. You're bleeding too. I'm okay, watch this! Her art literally just, just adds up her weak the weaknesses. It's okay. It's okay. Oh no, that's not good. Uh oh, tail grip? Is that good or bad? Would it say if I did that? No, I did nothing. Yep, attack. Take off the cuss. Stand still. Double damage on this douche. We'll be okay, it will be good. You just spat us? You just spit on us? Is that a good sign or a bad sign? Is it? More than a battle, she said. Beautiful. Satisfying attack. Oh no. Sizing tonight. The stars echo because of me. Firefly, type four. So in I, position. Like, I hear music. Take this. It's not a lot, but it helps. Hey, if I have nice. Fuck it. Relax. Good times. <laughs> Take this. Time to say bye. I can like, all day. Twenty four K. Oh, you are hurt real bad. No, you scratch your character's tits. Oh shit, you guys, you got heal. Uh oh. Really? Really? In position. Yeah, you see me flexing? You see me flexing? I'm gonna fist you. We'll be okay, right? Right? Not the cuts. Okay, let's double the healing. Thanks. You're too good to me. Let's go. For a tough case like yours, we're gonna try. This big drug! Like <laughs> scene is done. Stand still. Damn! The battle. Uh, I'm gonna flex. Uh, uh, get stuff on. Just stop on the head. Uh, uh, oh my god. Almost everyone is affected. Oh, it ended though. That's that good. Breathing sensation. Like May song bring us the harmony. Okay, let's double it up. Oh, come on. Didn't hurt. Good times never okay. last. Time let's to do say this. bye. 
Boom. Yeah, we shot him up. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Until everything burns to ashes. This is like um, how many times? Relax. Damn, look how we're doing this. We're getting done. Let's end this right now. Damn, you're buying off, Firefly! It's like, that's why! I did it! I did it! Were you seriously planning to leave this stuff unchecked at the dock for days? That's way too dangerous! She did for a reason! I, I had no idea about it! You must have accidentally triggered the cargo's defense program! I don't think trying to shift the blame is a wise choice. But seriously, I don't know why that thing suddenly started moving! I swear on the Amber Lord! Uh, Enough. Mishikwe, please escort our IPC guest to the Sky Baron Commission. I'm on it. Please follow me, Mr. Scott. Is he refusing? Oh, no, mine. Gentlemen, our preliminary inspection shows that there is indeed hidden biological tissues inside. Just like the craftsman feared. Oh, those his organisms are okay. You can tell if it's ingenium or biological in nature. Why did you say that? The core of this device is what they call wetware in industry slang. To put it simply, this machine operates with a kind of biological nerve as its control center. I'll take some samples for the alchemist to analyze and figure out where the biological tissue comes from. Why would the intelligentsia guild use such unethical technology? Perhaps they're trying to create a new weapon? Whatever the reason is, it's probably why the Borison attacked the ship. Probably. No wonder the IPC were trying to obstruct our inspection. I'll contact the Ten Lords Commission and ask the judges to come and give their final verdict on this. According to our rules, all prisoners and weapons involving dangerous creatures must be taken to the shackling prison for further sentencing. After all, it's the safest place on the Wafu. As for you, Mr. Craftsman, please go with the Cloud Knights and explain the situation to the judge. Alright, otherwise I will disappear and go their own way. Okay, we got that. I had a feeling that the IPC members would cause trouble, but I didn't think they'd be this tricky. Thanks for your help, Miss Linksha. I should thank you for saving my life. Your sword skills were impressive. Taking down that big guy. Mm -hmm. I thought the General's retainers were all burly martial masters. I didn't expect Yenching to be so... Uh... Cute? <laughs> Can't argue with that. Oh my god! <laughs> As for you... He's like, you what? You guests from the Astral Express, right? Saving the Lafu from that crisis. It's so impressive. <laughs> it wasn't a big deal. Really, it's still early. So why don't we get some tea at the Alchemy Commission? We can discuss your suggestions for revitalizing the commission. Uh, I'd be happy to accept your invitation. And you three are coming too, oh, right? Shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for the next episode. Oh, well, I'm gonna go. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.